Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, we're gonna remove PCV valve on this 2017 Toyota Camry. PCV valve usually located on the engine cover, but on this 2017 Toyota Camry, located there. So we're gonna have to remove the front wheel. Loosen the lug nuts first, and then jack up the car. I'm gonna put it on a jack stand, it will make the job much easier. It took me hour and a half removing PCV valve plus moving camera angle. Having jack stand for this job really useful because you can't take the valve out without removing the wheel first. After removing the lug nuts and the wheel, always put the wheel under the car for extra safety. Next, we're gonna remove this plastic piece. It's bolted down with two 10mm bolts. I'm just gonna tuck it under the wheel well for now. So, the PCV valve located behind here exactly. I'm gonna start with removing crankshaft sensor wire harness and the bracket so we don't damage it accidentally. Alright, let's see where is the PC valve located exactly. So the first thing we're gonna do, remove the hose. You just have to pull the hose and it comes out just like this. The valve is 19mm so we're gonna need long 19mm socket and medium size ratchet. You don't have that much space to work but the ratchet makes the job much easier. And here's the valve out. There are so many people that are recommending to replace PC valve than cleaning it. If you take a look at this PCU valve and cut it in half, there is a steel ball and a spring inside it. There are no complicated moving parts, so nothing happened to them unless the spring gets rusted and broke, which is a very rare situation. For cleaning, I usually use car cleaner and spray it like that. And when it comes to replace it or clean it, if it's plastic, it's easier for you to get one under 5 bucks rather than going to buy a cleaner and clean it. Sometimes it will cost you more, but if you have a cleaner like we all do in our garage, Nothing wrong with that to clean it and put it back again. But when they are metal, they will last way longer. Some of you recommended to use ultrasonic cleaner in my last video for cleaning PCV valve. So I'm gonna fill the ultrasonic cleaner with sea foam and put the valve in it. I will let it clean for 5 minutes. 2017 Toyota Camry's PCV valve is metal, not plastic. So it will last much longer than the plastic. Maybe that's why they put it there, not on the engine cover. Okay, after 5 minutes, we're gonna shake it a bit, looks like the ultrasonic cleaner breaks some oil. I didn't expect it to be that much dirty, because I have cleaned it before. I like to dry it before putting on the engine. For those of you who don't have ultrasonic cleaner, cleaning with carb cleaner is enough, just like that. Alright, the valve is clean and dry, we're gonna put it on the engine. Just make sure to hand tight it before using ratchet to avoid cross threading. Now I'm gonna use the 19mm long socket to tighten it up. Putting back the hose by hand will be so difficult, so having something like this will be handy. I can lock the hose and put it back. We just completed the hard part and it wasn't that difficult. Next we're gonna put the sensor wire harness back. In these other steps we just putting back just like we removed them. After lowering the car, I'm gonna torque the lug nuts to 76 pound feet of torque. Hope I showed you good technique how to remove and clean PCV valve on 2017 Toyota Camry. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.